Hi, this is Gary from LandofCoins.com. Today we're talking about rare coins, specifically rare coin books. Uh, so here's a favorite coin book that a lot of people know of. It's the United States Coin Guidebook, the red one, the red book. But specifically, you notice this one's a lot bigger because it's the professional edition. And what the professional edition has that I love is it has the certified numbers. Not only the mintages, but it has the, the amount of coins that were certified in that year and type. Uh, and also, what percentage of them are mint state of the grades that were, or of the coins that were graded? What percentage of them are mint state? And by researching this and looking at it, you can see that that has a lot to do with the values of the coins. And because uh, you know a, a coin that's rare in a high grade is uh, is definitely in demand if there aren't many of that year in that high grade. So uh, I'm just going to give you an example here quickly on this book review that I'm doing. We're going to look at a certain coin, and I'll put it up on the uh, on the video here so you can see what I'm looking at. Let's take for example the 1895O. Uh, Barber Dime. 1895 O Barber Dime. Yeah, there was only 440,000 of those minted. And of those, there's 146 right now that have been graded. And the average grade is actually 27. So on the numbers, the Sheldon number scale, 1 to 70, the average grade is 27. So not many of those coins are in high grade. In fact, if you look right next to the other number, the percentage of those coins that are mint states, 16%. So that's like 1 or 2 out of 10 that are actually mint states. So if you can get one of those in a mint state, that's extremely rare. Even though the coin is rare to begin with, to find one in a high grade is extremely rare. And that's where the values are going to start escalating quickly. For example, mint state, 65 the value on that coin is about twenty thousand dollars whereas the one just above it which has six hundred and ninety thousand mintages you know the eighteen ninety five O was four hundred forty thousand the eighteen ninety five is six hundred and ninety still low mintage but the values are substantial a mint state eighteen ninety five is two thousand five hundred dollars not twenty thousand like the 1895O. And that's because 70 per, almost 70 percent of the 1895s are mint state. So you can see 70 percent mint state coin, an MS65 is 2,500. A coin that only has 16 percent mint state, an MS65 is $20,000. So there's a big difference there and that is why the values are 10 times, it's 10 times more if you have a low mint state coin. So it can be complicated looking at it, but when you got the book, it makes it real easy and you can look at them and see what's a rare coin or not in the high grades. Because even though if a coin has been has high mintage, it can still be rare if there's not many of those coins in mint state condition. So make sure you get this book, the Red Book Professional Edition. Because if you want to be an astute coin collector, as we all know, knowledge is everything. So uh, thanks again for watching this video. Hope it was helpful. Again, go to landofcoins.com if you want to buy and sell coins with no transaction fees. Because some, you know, the other auction houses, they have high transaction fees. And uh, it can become expensive to buy and sell coins. But on our website, landofcoins.com, it's only $15 a month. You can sell an unlimited amount of coins with no transaction fees. Again, this is Gary from LandaCoins.com. Thanks for watching.